Here at Hope and Purpose Ministries, we believe that discovering, entering, and walking your divine mission upon the earth is vital to your Christian journey. Everyone was made for a specific purpose. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God says that he knows well the plans he has for us. He plans to bless us, not to curse us, to build us up, to give us a future full of hope. We talk about divine hope. That is, without hope, we have a miserable life. We have nothing to look forward to. Unlike the world, the body of Christ, we put our hope in the person of Jesus Christ. And because we are children of God, we can believe and we do believe that God wants each one of us to have an encounter with him. Not just an encounter with another person, but an encounter with a divine person, a divine encounter. That is, God wants us to experience heaven touching earth, divinity touching our humanity. It's important, particularly right now, that we know what our purpose is. Jeremiah chapter one, verse five says that each one of us, before we were in our mother's womb, God knew us, he dedicated us, he appointed us a prophet to the nation. That is, God had a specific plan and purpose in mind when he created you and me. So if we have a divine purpose, then that means we have a divine mission upon the earth. All of us, by virtue of our baptism and confirmation, are called to participate in the priestly, prophetic, and kingly mission of Jesus Christ. God has given us divine victory. We're simply involved in the mop-up operation now. We have the victory because Jesus Christ had walked up the hill to Calvary, stretched out his arms, and shed his blood. So his blood has covered our sins. He's expiated or taken away our sin. And all of us who call upon the Lord will be saved. The Lord is going to come. We can take hold of his victory and know the fullness of the new life in heaven by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. This book will help to open all of these things up for you. You might be living a life right now without hope. God wants every person upon the earth to have hope. Would that none would be lost, Jesus says, and that all would be saved and come to a saving knowledge of faith in him. So we pray now and we ask God the Father to send the Holy Spirit to prick our hearts so our hearts would be open to receive his Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. For we ask these things, Father, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia and glory to God.